acne update. I have not been in the mood to film recently. I think I've hit kind of a burnout. And I thought to myself, well, Cassandra, just sit on the floor and give an acne update. Quality content. Um, I have been breaking out and I actually want to confess to something because it's a little bit embarrassing. Um, I slept in my makeup twice this week. I've been stressed and I've been picking and I don't think I even know that I've been picking. And I want to show you why I think that is like psychology behind it. I also want to dive into the psychology of picking. So the weather has been changing. It's going from like summer to autumn and I still haven't switched my skincare routine to like an autumn winter appropriate skincare. So my skin has been getting like these little patches that when I put my makeup on, they cling to differently and it's like dry skin, but it's super oily. But I think it's just oily on the top and dry at the bottom. I've been getting these pimples, kitty. You want love and then you complain when I give it to you. I've been getting these little spots though that trickle down. This side of my face has been pretty bad and then I'm getting some hormonal breakouts. Um, and again, I haven't switched up my skincare yet and the weather has been switching, but also this week I have been extraordinarily stressed. I have not been sleeping well. Um, my eating has not been that great, especially for a good month. Like at the end of summer, my eating was horrible. I was eating vegan nachos every day. I've kind of gotten back to eating fresh fruits and vegetables, but I've noticed that when it comes to picking and when I'm not sleeping well and taking care of myself and stressed the F out, it does make an impact. And I have been using a plasma ion generating device, so it's interesting that like, Things aren't super puffy. Um, and it's funny because I use it mainly on this side because I'll be typing or I'll be texting on my phone while I do it for like five minutes in the morning, um, which is actually interesting. But even like the simple change of the weather and not sleeping well and taking care of myself has made a huge difference. Also, I don't notice when I'm picking. I think I've told you about this before, but like, there's some sort of psychological picking release that I have. And I've noticed like when I'm studying hard or when I'm stressed out, I start to go like this and I actually start to pick at my back. And I don't even know that I pick. And I tell myself that I've stopped picking, but it's like there's welts on my back. I wanna show you my back from one side and then the other. First, there's this side. As you can see, I have a couple little bumps up here and by the shoulder. And then there's the other side. And I have all of these welts that literally go like all the way down my back. And I'm thinking to myself, like, what's going on? I got a facial and I usually do acne updates when I get facials and stuff like that just to track my progress. And I realized it was only one side of my entire body that was breaking out. And I was thinking to myself, like, what's going on? Am I using a product there that I'm not using on the other side? No. Um, am I sleeping funny? Is there like oils for my hair that are getting on my back? No. I realized that when I'm stressed, I usually have like my phone or I'm typing with this hand and I'm going like this and I'm literally sitting here and pinching and picking and popping at my skin. And it's while I'm in class. I've been trying to like take a note of it. It's down my arm and I can reach pretty far. It goes all the way down here. Like it's, it's all over my back. <laughs> And it's not on this side as much because usually it's when I'm studying or doing something and I'm always typing or on my phone with this hand. And I have dexterity in both hands, but the amount that I'm picking here, I'm just like, holy guacamole, I don't even know that it's happening. And on top of that, I slept in my makeup two days a week. It's been the natural makeup. It's 100% pure. So it's made of like crushed rice powder and like peaches. Um, and then also Juice Beauty, which is made with organic ingredients. So like they've never broken me out before. But even if you're using natural products, if you sleep in them, you're gonna get a breakout because it's still creating a clog on the skin. No matter how natural, no matter how pure, if you sleep with a clog on your skin that is not skincare, that does not penetrate the skin, it's gonna cause you to break out. Um, and then I'm not gonna lie about like the stress, just the sheer amount of stress and the sheer amount of negative back talk. Mm, like the insecurities that come along with acne, right? But this is a little update, also a little scar update on kind of what's going on. 
You know, my scarring has definitely not been as bad as it could be when having acne. I feel very blessed because of that, but like there's still scars that, mm, like if I could get rid of them, I would, you know what I mean? And it's hard because I preach like skin positivity and all this kind of stuff, but at the same time, I'm like, yeah, if I had a choice to remove them, I would. Um, this is my forehead, again, breaking out here. I do this little squinchy thing when I'm studying really hard, and I get this, and I've gotten a pimple right there. <laughs> Um, also right up here, um, right over here, right over here. That's the jawline area. But like because of all this, I haven't even wanted to like film. I haven't even wanted to brush my teeth. I haven't even wanted to like be a normal functioning human being. I'm trying to like snap out of that, but it's not so easy. Anyways, that's my acne update. That's my current thoughts and processes. I need to snap out of this. <laughs> so if anybody wants to talk to me, have a little conversation. Sit with me on the floor. Tell me in the comments. Um, and if there's anything that you would find really helpful, whether it's talking about natural foundations or scar treatments or looking at the ingredients in a new product or just looking at what salicylic acid actually does, let me know because I need to be inspired again. It's also, you know what it is? It's also barriers. I feel like if my hair isn't done or if I'm not looking too good, don't want to film a YouTube video because there's pressure. Like YouTube was always my diary where I would just come here and complain about my acne. But then it became this thing where it's like there's expectations and like people are professional on YouTube and like Jacqueline Hill knows how to blend her eyeshadow really well. And like Cassandra, you can't even get your eyeliner even. And I played that comparison game but it's almost like now there's like a barrier between me being able to film and talk honestly because it's like, ooh, people are watching and like some of the people who I work for are watching. And like if they see their brand consultant just sitting here like covered in cat hair on the living room floor, are they gonna hire me? Are they gonna take me seriously? You know, but I also think that we need a little dose of realness and it's important to know that like I don't wear makeup every day and I don't look super presentable every day. But I also think there needs to be a point of realness where it's like, no, I don't wear makeup every day. I don't look flawless every day. <laughs> Nobody does. Um, we're just all too afraid to show that like we have these real aspects of ourselves that we go through these feels. Um, see, it's so funny because like I've grown so much in some ways and like I've become so much more confident and like assertive and asking for what I want in certain ways and like okay with myself, but then there are days that I have like these relapses and it's usually triggered by like something I didn't expect, like acne or like an old pair of jeans that you find in your closet that triggers it or like an old memory on Facebook from five years ago with your ex and you were like really insecure back then about like dating. Um, and that pops up in your Facebook feed and you're like, no Facebook, I don't wanna be reminded of that day five years ago. Leave me alone. Anyways, <laughs> I love you. I hope that you're having a good day and I hope that you are at a place with your skin where regardless of what it looks like, you're able to love it. You know, I truly believe that when people feel inspired, whether it's by a YouTube video, by a quote, by an act of kindness that someone else does, I believe that that puts us in a place where we're driven to make positive change. It's like, yes, if that person can do it, I can do it. If that person's changing the world, I wanna change the world. You know, and make a positive difference. And at the end of the day, that's what I wanna do. I wanna create videos, I wanna create content, I wanna create communities and products and education and things that make people feel inspired that they have the power to change the circumstances that they're in or the circumstances of others around them. And when I'm focused on my skin and what I look like, I'm not focused on that long-term goal. Ooh, deep. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm gonna get a lint roller and get this cat hair off myself. I hope that you're having a good day. I hope that you feel inspired by something today and that you use that to be a catalyst and a drive for you to do something positive. Bless you, kitty. I love you so much. Always remember to be beautiful inside and out, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Hopefully I'll be feeling different about my skin regardless of what it looks like. Okay. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.